Hello, welcome to the Landis Performance Channel. Today we're ripping down this AMC Jeep 4 liter. We're gonna freshen it up for a friend of mine. And it's gonna go in his 75 Gremlin, which is turbocharged. So let's tear this thing apart and see what we got to work with. Well, that's never good when water's coming out of the oil pan. All right, well, we have the head off this thing. And unfortunately, there's some water damage inside this thing. Okay, so this is the same engine that we tore apart back from the machine shop. It's been bored out. She's ready to go back together. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and start make, making our uh, measurements to check our clearances to uh, blueprint the engine, and we'll assemble it. For this build, we're using DSS pistons, SCAT connecting rods, competition cams, turbo cam, and stock crank that's been polished, and all new King bearings. Now, one of the things on the Jeep engine is the first, third, fifth, and seventh main caps. The oil comes from the camshaft. And then on the second, fourth, and sixth main cap, the oil comes from the lifter bore. So the holes are not in the same location. What the bearing manufacturers do is they put a slot in the bearing so that it catches the oil hole on either side. However, since this is gonna be higher horsepower engine with boost, we go ahead and modify the block so that we get a full passageway to the main bearing. Here's a set of old bearings that came out of the original engine and you can see by the black circle that's where the oil galley matches up to the main bearing. So we modified the cylinder block a little bit to help get more volume to the bearing. We've already made all of our measurements with the pistons and the cylinder, blo uh, cylinder block to get our piston to wall clearance. And we've already measured all the main bearings and connecting rod bearings and the crankshaft. And we have all of our oil clearances already figured out. So it's time to assemble the engine. Okay, so we have the crank installed. All the caps are torqued and we have paint dots on our bolts signifying that everything has been torqued and checked. And as always, we put a, a ratchet on the front of the crank and let it rotate. Make sure there's nothing dragging. The ring's good. So now we'll start putting pistons in. So before we put the pistons in, we're gonna wash the cylinders with lacquer thinner to get any grit that's left behind from the boring and honing process. Even though the engine block has been cleaned, there's still fine granules in the uh, finish of the bores. So we'll wash them down with a uh, white rag and lacquer thinner to make sure that they're clean, install the piston rings, and then install the pistons in the block. So this is a clean white rag with some lacquer thinner and you can see even though the block has been washed twice bristle brush cleaned and everything there's still grit left behind in the finish of the cylinder bore so you always want to clean all this out and i'll go through it another time until i get a clean rag out then it's ready to install the new piston and just like that all the rods and pistons are in the motor torqued the white markings symbolizing final torque and bottom ends complete and of course as I'm assembling the engine I'm always rotating it every piston I put in to make sure that the drag stays the same that way knowing that there's no uh, issues with rings or anything tight in the cylinder so the bottom end is now complete we'll install the camshaft and the lifters and then on to the cylinder head. For the head gasket, we're using a Kometic MLS gasket. 
And the modifications we did to the cylinder head, we used LS stainless Ferreo uh, sta valves, opened up the pockets and seats, and matching comp cams, spring retainers, keepers. After we degreed the cam, we went ahead and put the timing cover on. Now we'll go ahead and install the cylinder head. All right, so we have the head torqued down. We use ARP head bolts. And you can see the comp springs, steel retainers and keepers that are matching to the camshaft that we selected for this engine. So again, that's a Kometic head gasket and LS202 intake valves and 157 exhaust valves. Now we'll go ahead and put the valve train on and finish this project. All right, so we have the rockers and push rods in. Use a little oil on the pivots and some high load lube on the ends of the push rods. So now we're ready to put the valve cover on and finish this engine up. Okay, there it is. The engine is completely assembled. We covered it up with a cast aluminum valve cover to prevent oil leaks. It's one thing I don't like engines that have oil leaks. So we have the complete turbo motor. In part two, we'll go ahead and put this in the car and dyno tune it. So keep an eye out for the part two video when we get that finished. There it is, four liter, 30 over, uh, comp cams, modified cylinder head, AMC Gremlin, turbo car. We still have to put the correct oil pan and uh, balancer and flywheel assembly on it to match the car, but the, the engine is complete. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Ring the bell for instant notifications when we drop videos. Comment, leave comments, we love comments. And give the video a like, it helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Sit.